Right here we are in a beautiful Andes, Texas day, looking at a very nice 1940 Ford pickup. A little breezy today, a little bit muggy, but we'll get through this anyway. Very nice little pickup. Full respect to originality kind of restoration. Uh, very nice. Let's walk around and we'll tell you what we know. Uh, part of a collection down here where we're handling several several cars. Uh, we'll actually have a web page at Spud's Garage dedicated to this collection uh, when we, once we get them all posted. Uh, three days here, several cars, several pre-war cars, post-war cars, and uh, pickups like this too. So, uh, very nice pickup. All steel pickup, 1944. Very high-end style paint job on this truck. Uh, deluxe headlamps here but you look at the uh, finish on it it's very high quality professional finish on it I don't know how old the restoration is but it's not that old uh, I'm gonna walk around and show you what we can what we know about it and then as we pick up more information from the collection we'll put it together on Spud's garage for you but like I said beautiful it's all steel the bed has been uh, completely redone all the oaks been redone it's a body off restoration we actually had it up on the lift prior to coming out here and uh, was actually very pleased what we saw on the underside of this truck. Um, it is, uh, I think this bed itself is probably one of the pros pick beds or something like that because it's awful nice. Um, but it could have very well been an original bed too because the bed itself looks just a little bit too sweet and that's a good thing because it looks great. Tailgate's wonderful uh, definition on it. The fenders, obviously, I don't believe you can buy those reproduction. They are Henry Steel fenders. One of the things they did nice about this truck when they did the undercarriage, and it's a body off restoration, by the way, because I've been underneath. Um, they actually rhino coated the bottom side of all the fenders and the bottom side of the body, and it's very nicely done. Dual exhaust, flathead V8, not modified that way. Back of the cab's just beautiful here. I like the. Uh, the definition or the pinstriping they did here or the little body line fill. Um, so they spent a lot of time and money on the paint on this truck. It's hard to find these trucks that I haven't been all, uh, you know, hot rotted up with IFS, that kind of thing. So if you're the purist that likes a really good, honest, original truck um, with a few subtle upgrades and uh, a bling, it's got uh, Firestone uh, 616 uh, uh, Deluxe Champion white wall tires on it, deluxe wheel trim on it with a pinstripe that matches the body. It did have a spotlight on it, and I don't know if they took it off to fix it or the guy didn't like it, but it's it's fit for a spotlight here. That's the only spot I could really tell you that I noticed on it. So it's kind of nice on the inside, so I would put a spotlight back on it. It's cut all the way through, which means you could install one very easily. Factory steel running boards. Typical grill and bright work on a 40 here. But man, you're looking at this in the bright sun. I can tell you this body on this truck is just whistle straight as we go around it here. Wow. You catch me speechless from time to time, but uh, I try and cover as much as I can on these so I study them while I'm walking around and uh, tell you what I see as I walk around them. You can actually see the reflections in the side of the door there. You can see how straight that door panel is. Beautiful spot to video and do this truck. You're catching the shade side. You can see me in the fender here. Spud man. Uh, it's got a radio antenna. I don't see a radio in the dash. It has a full factory mount spare on the side here. So it's got that cool, good look here. Let me step back and let you take a peek at it here. Nice out here in the hay fields. A little buggy. Door lock on the door here. I have no idea whether that's functional or not. I'm not going to check the door lock. A little breeze coming up, so if we get a little bit, uh, hopefully you'll still be able to hear me. Dash is finished in black, and it's got all new interior card, uh, the headliner, the cardboard headliner, all that stuff. So it's either LeBaron Bonnie or or Drake or that kind of thing interior. So it's a factory interior. And then when they did the uh, Rhino coating, they actually Rhino coated the floors too. So it's got a good, tight, solid feel to it. Uh, it has a heater in it. But we're going to get more details as we go to spudsgarage.com. There's just registrations, registrations and stuff in there now. Again, everywhere. Um, this body and paint, even on the inside door panels, the door jams are just nice. 
just pushed that shut. I didn't have to slam it. Step back here and let you take a better look here from this angle too. The bed's all been restored. I mean the hardwoods and all that kind of stuff. So you'll see all new fasteners and hardware. Front and rear bumpers. It's got nice dual exhaust. Flat EV8 underneath the hood. Factory three-speed gearbox. Uh, blue dot tail lights here. Kind of neat. Show you the bed. Again, restored stainless strips in it. Uh, you see the interior of the bed sides here. These are just really nice. Give you a peek there. So I'd probably put a spotlight back on this old girl, and it's just kind of begging underneath the hood. You'll see underneath the hood. Nicely, nice built little flatty, good little horsepower. But you know, it's just kind of begging for some early speed stuff to kind of add a little bit of bling underneath the hood. Get over here on the driver's side. Kind of a green, kind of a uh, hunter green interior. It's got an additional added electric fuel pump on it for those starts after it's been sitting. We'll get inside here. They used Allen hardware in the door jam here. Um, factory style window cranks. Door shut nice. Up down in here. Gauged cluster looks like it's probably been restored or possibly a re. Nah, it's been restored, I think, because eh, I don't know. That could be original. Talking to myself there. 4828 is the odometer reading at the time of inspection here. Steering column locks like it works like it's supposed to. We'll fire this old girl up. Oh, it's already unlocked, so just turn the ignition on there. You can hear the fuel pump come on. Don't see the fuel gauge moving there but that's I'm sure it's just low on fuel pretty easy fix if it's not you'll see it's kind of nice here I would put a spotlight back on it it's actually fitted originally fitted for a spotlight and maybe they just didn't put it back on after the restoration so you don't have to drill them there you go it's got one muffler it's a little bit noisy we covered on the undercarriage video it's one of those mufflers where condensation that kind of rotted through the bottom of it it's not an old restoration but uh, uh, some of those mufflers are Chinese and they don't hold up like they should have will be replaced before the rig leaves it's got wipers on it I don't know if they work or not there's a wiper switch here I'm turning it I'm not seeing anything so it could be just a vacuum connection anyway it back here hey go to spuds garage give us a call anytime we're never any pressure hop in hang on to the end of the video all right let's take a look underneath the hood neat little 40 ford pickup this thing is just a really subtle seems a little hopped up we'll try and get some more specs at spuds garage but we know it's been rebuilt uh flathead v8 ford flathead v8 so a ford and a ford Full respect to original style build on this uh, truck. The body and paint's just beautiful, but you look underneath the hood here, uh, just a good dressed flatty. It has uh, the upgraded billet, uh, aluminum water pumps on it, which are a really nice addition. You don't have to worry about the maintenance on the other ones. Uh, factory style cloth wiring, factory style generator with a six volt system in it, single uh, carburetor on it, Downdraft carb, dual, not dual, but uh, two barrel. Give you a peek here. Six volt battery. Again, the billet water pumps. It looks like it has a heater. There's a heater hose that runs into the firewall here. Uh, factory mechanical driven fan, factory style distributor. Anyway, we're thinking you get the idea. Just a nice factory dress truck. It'll oil bath air filter there you go hang on to the end of the video go to spudsgarage.com have a great day all right we got the 40 pickup here on, up on the lift for you here this whole collection's allowed me to get him up on the lift and very nice this is a very nice body off restored pickup I'm gonna go up here very much in a stock style format but uh, a little bit of hot rod kind of feel to it 
factory uh, traverse mounted rear spring, wishbones, closed tube drive line, body off restoration, all the wood's been redone on the back here. Nice dual exhaust tucked along the frame. Factory style shocks. 40 Ford would have hydraulic brakes. Hydraulic brake lines have all been gone through. Very nice. This is all like the bottom side of the fenders and the running boards and all that stuff have all been rhino lined with a, with a hard rhino coating. It'll keep from rock stairs on, stars on the fenders. Top side, black truck. Same thing on the floor pans here. They look good. Again, rhino coating. Rhino coated here. We're going to catch a thunderstorm here, so I'm going to speed this one up just a little bit. This particular muffler from Moisture in the Muffler had... Uh, it rotted out here uh, from condensation. So that muffler will be replaced before the vehicle leaves and it will be correct. We are at a street rod shop, one of the best in the country. It's part of his collection and uh, that muffler will be replaced correctly. Make sure they're all running before they go, all running fine. Of course, we're driving them and starting them now. Flathead V8, again, Traverse, buggy spring style. Hydraulic brakes, you look up in the fenders here, this, this thing is all restored. Wasn't restored by the shop here, but it is a nicely done restoration. The gearbox has been gone through. Really nice top to bottom here. Just a nice, nice little collection here of cars. Anyway, I'm going to get this fired up and down off of here. Again, that muffler will be replaced. Sounds kind of cool. Has an electric fuel pump uh, assist up here that they're going to tidy up that just a little bit, the uh, connections there, but it was a quick uh, done by somebody else. Other than that, you see what you see here, this is a really nice pickup. Again, the inside of the fenders are all rhino coated. That's really a nice technology. Anyway, thanks for coming to Spud's Garage. We'll give you one more quick, quick, quick little peek here. End of the day, get a little rummy. Have a great day. Go to spudsgarage.com. Talk to you soon.